Fires have burned a combined 39,000 acres over the last two weeks. Historic Lake Lure and Chimney Rock Park in Rutherford County are where many evacuations are happening. CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler on the grounds there with the very latest on the Party Rock Fire. Firefighters working round the clock tonight. I can hear you, yes. I can hear you. That smoke rising from the mountains, that's the Party Rock Fire. At last check, the State Forest Service says it's burned nearly 3,500 acres and is only 15% contained. Now imagine if you were building a home where that inferno is and were forced to evacuate. You just don't know what you're going to come or what you're going to hear next or come home to. You know, you fear that you're going to lose everything you have. Teresa Wheeler and her husband, Alan, just moved to Lake Lore from Raleigh. They plan to retire here. It's been a little nerve-wracking, but hopefully it'll get all straightened away and we'll be able to move in. In Rutherford County, there are mandatory evacuations for Chimney Rock and Rumbling Bald Resort. But instead of focusing on all that could be lost, the Wheelers are among several others paying it forward. Thank you, sir. Volunteering this Monday night to help feed the nearly 400 first responders working to contain the fire. They're up there guarding our houses with pumper trucks and a lot of these are volunteer firefighters. So we are here to help feed these these folks. I couldn't be happier than to do what I'm doing. Firefighters have come from all across the state and country working 12 hour shifts and they're grateful for the hot meals and words of support. And we drove six hours to come out here and they really do appreciate it. Chief Glenn Rogers crew from Wrightsville Beach finding a couple of minutes to celebrate his 55th birthday. No better place, that's for sure. These guys are giving me a little more gray hair than I came here with three or four days ago. So, yeah, that's good. That was our Amy Cutler reporting. Now, county officials tonight confirming one firefighter was hurt. They say he was on an ATV, an all-terrain vehicle, surveying the fire lines when it flipped, but they tell us he's expected to be okay. Now, as Amy mentioned in her story, fire crews from across the state are helping in the efforts to stop those fires from spreading, including those from our area. Carthage Fire and Rescue posted a photo, this photo, in fact, to social media today. Four of their own are on the way to the mountains as well. The town of Morrisville already has volunteers on the ground in Lake Lure. It's definitely rewarding. I mean, I mean, just to be out there is an experience and getting to see another side of the country that, or not country, but state that I get to see. I've always been a volunteer and, and it just, it, it, it's hard to get somebody to help you when you get in a bind. So I know how it feels. So it was just a natural thing.